All right. Uh, next star on the Tour de Verse, the Tour de, the Grand Prix, the, the, on the star hunt. I, I'm at eight. There's two more, right? Please shit on this game more. What is that, your fetish or something? Ew. Uh. Wait, is that it? Have I done every gold star? Okay, one is done. Two is done. Three is done. Four is done. Five is done. Six doesn't have any. Seven is the one I just did. I need an axe to break that thing down. I have eight. I have eight gold stars. Is that enough to do the stupid Tetris fitting thing? I really hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to get very, very confused. Uh, I think I may actually need to get an axe and start breaking down those barriers. Because I, I remember now, I remember now in the Hint World in C, which is the only hint world I've been to yet. There was a gold star in there. And there are two remaining hint worlds that I haven't opened up that require axes. There's this one, and then there's the one in world A. Or in the world in world B. And I think that those will have gold stars in them. Yep, I need to get two more gold stars. So, we have a wooden thing here. Uh, how in the hell am I going to get... an axe? I've looked... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, hold on. I remember another gold star somewhere. I remember, uh, I'm thinking now, I remember there was a gold star on the main world out here. It was in the building behind everything else, and I don't think I unlocked that gold star yet, so I may not need the axes to get into those hint worlds. Let's find out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It was back through here. Yes, yes. Uh, yep, there it is. So I have that laser receptacle. And then I remember that there was also a laser emitter behind a bunch of wood. All right. And then I also need connecties. Where the hell am I gonna find any connecties? So I come through here. This is Elohim's tower that he's like, nah, don't touch, it's not for you. There's the, there's the emitter. Well, let's see if I can take the axe from World C up with me to break open that, uh, that, that door. I also wanted to just quickly poke my head around here to see if I can find any connecties. Um, nothing. Okay, well, let's go down and see the next world. Is that the tower from Lord of the Rings? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get the axe from down here. And then I think I might be able to take this axe up to break the barrels. I'm hoping. Maybe that's just what I was always supposed to do. To even get to the other hub worlds, I might have just needed to take this axe with me every every time. I wouldn't be surprised if the game is like, can't use buttons while carrying an axe. 
though. And I would be incredibly pissed off if it did that. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, good. I just accidentally dropped the axe. I was gonna be really, really mad if it was like... Wait, what's the physics like? Oh, I can't drop the axe when it's going up an elevator. Good call, game. I don't think that your physics engine could handle that either. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now that I have that... I can break open the laser emitter. And... I still won't have any connecties. Nice. So I'll drop the axe over here. What did this all say again? Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Alright, I remember looking around this barren, snowy wasteland hellscape to try and find anything after I found that one room. So I'm just going to quickly look around and see if there are any connecties that are hidden off in the snow world. I don't think so, though. So... Perhaps they're hidden, like, on the roofs of these various buildings. Because I definitely ran around the perimeter quite a bit. Might be just in the tower, too. Anything over here? No. Oh! There's, like, a little overhang over here. Maybe it's hidden underneath the building? Well, there's this. Which is cool. This is lore. Uh, questioning doubt conference. By God, I am not going to read this. Keynote speech by Sarabhai. So at the very least, this is a fictional speech by one of the characters. So, um, let's see. I don't know. I guess I'll read it. Whatever. Uh, they say... Doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts, but no much of it leads to app too much of it. Okay, whatever. Uh, I am so lured out at this point from reading shit. I, I just can't do it. Uh, Alright. Let's try going up the tower a little bit. I didn't get very far. I kind of chickened out last time I came through here. Check the roofs. Ugh. <sighs> The ceilings. The primary subject has ceased. Initiate. Initiate. Oh, Elohim's very, very upset about the fact that I'm climbing his tower. Okay. Is the Oh. Oh, yay! Oh, goody. I forgot that the sigils were going to be required in all of uh, ascending the tower. Well, I need to do this eventually. What? No. What? Okay, cool. So I'm up to the first level of the tower. And... There are puzzles up here. Alright. I guess I should have seen that coming. I don't know why I didn't think there would be more puzzles in this puzzle game. <laughs> uh... Thing. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna. I did see an emitter, which means that there are probably connecties. And if there are connecties, then there might be a way to take one out of the puzzle. So there's no windows in here. But I did just leave through here. Okay, cool, cool. I can take the la I can take the elevator down. And I was able to take the da the axe down, so I'm assuming I take the elevator down too. So we got that, and then with a connecty, I'll be able to uh I guess I'll be able to get the next star.
so we'll try that. My child, have you been tempted by the tower? Oh, know crap. that it holds only death for you. Wow, God. That is some seriously heavy-handed uh, discipline there. Okay, so I have the connecty. I can come over here. And I can beam from there. All right, I need to go... He knows. Yes, Elohim knows that I've been poking around his tower. I, I know he's got his secret porno stash. His secret real gross. Elohim probably watches the... Like, just the turbo grossest of pornography. And now I know. And maybe... Maybe I'm in it. Maybe that's why he doesn't want me to come up here. Maybe Elohim has been filming my, like, sexy nubile robot body <laughs> doing, doing sexy nubile robot things this whole time and he didn't want to tell me because he's a, he's a freaking perv. And I... I'm about to, like, catch him in the act. Okay, so we do have our second connecty. So I can use connecty number two, probably, to get, uh, to get that, that star. Um... Uh... Wait, can I just jump out? There's no fall damage, right? I was very concerned for a second there. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And then I think I can just see the laser receptacle from over here. Yes! Gold star! Alrighty. Um... I feel like I'm kind of on a roll with tower puzzles, so we're just going to keep going with the tower for right now. I didn't realize there were puzzles in the tower, and as a result of that, um, I'm suspecting I need to reset to get those connecties back up the tower. I don't want to just carry them all the way back up. But I'm suspecting that the, uh, that the tower puzzles will have a gold star in them, if just because... They're like the last puzzles in the game. And I assume that this will be the last sequence of with, with which they're going to be doing any sort of... Um, I mean, it seems like a, a totally natural thing to place a, uh, a gold star in this sequence of puzzles as well. So we have this Zapdos. Who's not Zapdos. It's not a Zapdos. It's just a, uh, just a mine. Um, all I need to do is just spate these out so there's enough space between them that this thing uh, doesn't block both connecties at the same time. Yeah, so eventually this is going to charge up all the way. Or it would if I moved this back a little bit. Or it would if I... Uh... Yeah. That's going to be the issue here. Um, but I don't need this one to be connected to that laser beam. I can just make it connected to this one and do it from over here. All right, good. That solved that puzzle, and I can move on to more to the more levels in the tower and piss off Elohim even further. Oh my god, I'm in a bird stream. No way, me too! Type device manager to list control external devices. Uh, we have tr human reproduction dot text. Oh, Elohim, I knew it. I knew it, you son of a bitch. Surely if a machine is able to reproduce another machine systematically, we may say that it is a reproductive system. And how few of the machines are there which have not been produced systematically by other humans. But it is man that makes them do so. Yes, it is not insects that make many of the plants reproductive, and would not whole families of plants die out if their fertilization was not affected by a class of agents utterly foreign to themselves. Each one of ourselves has sprung from minute animalcules, minute animalcules, <laughs> whose entity was entirely distinct from our own, and which acted after their truth with after their kind with no thought or 
heed of what we might think about it. Um, these little creatures are part of our own reproductive system. Then why not are we part of the, a part that of that of the machine? What the hell? All right. So I guess according to this .txt file, when robots doink, that means that people are technically the mom and the dad. That's philosophy right there. Athena Reborn, they put an entire... Put an entire novel in the game. At least, that would be terrifying if they did. Truth.html. This is like an Alex Jones thing. Do not believe what they are saying. This is not the end of the world created by our Lord God in six days. This is a conspiracy of the government... Illuminati and international Darwinism. Oh my god, it is Alex Jones. This is global warming 2.0, a lie told by the children of Beelzebub. Science. Do not let them take your library. Defend yourself against all vaccines, experiments, artificial medicines, and pop potpourri. Potpourri? My grandmother keeps that in the bathroom. I didn't know it was evil. Device manager version 0.01. Huh. Kind of an old thing. Show current operating parameters. Uh, one elevator accessible. Free evaluation expired. <laughs> it's the WinRAR of elevators. Uh, floor access control. Okay. Floor two is locked. Uh, I would like to unlock it. All right, floor three requires code. Protect it with a code. Please enter the code. All right, we, oh, it's gonna, this is gonna be kind of annoying. It's gonna give me like a whole bunch of like little weird gates that are just gonna kind of slow things down for a little bit. I just, I like the puzzles that are like the actual puzzles of this game rather than like the Tetris puzzles and all this other crap. Auxiliary stairway access control. Your software license has expired. It's in always open mode now. Please renew your license to enable the locking. Cool. Let's exit. Maybe the game has kind of detected that I've basically beaten it. And it's just like, yeah, we'll give you a staircase. That'll help out a lot. That'll make things a lot easier. Nevertheless, we've unlocked floor two at the elevator. So let's go ahead and try out the elevator... Bank number two. Uh, have I seen Hellblade sets in a sacrifice? I have not done any of the uh, Hellblade stuff. They do look really, really nice, though. Um, I should definitely set up, like, a Patreon and do, like, game recommendations and stuff like that. That was something I was talking about with Ladybird earlier today. Uh, it seems Elohim lacks the power to stop me from climbing this thing. No doubt he still has some tricks up his sleeve. Oh, sheep. What a plot arc. What a character arc with sheep. He eventually became no sheep. He became a man. Oh no. So many Tetris puzzle pieces. Please be easy. It's not gonna be easy. Yeah, this is already basically unsolvable, I think. Yep, so this won't work. Well, we're going to basically poke around until it, who likes brute forcing Tetris puzzles because guess what we're doing now brute forcing Tetris puzzles ah name a more iconic duo Talos principle bird brute forcing Tetris puzzles all right at least that was quick luckily the Tetris puzzles have gotten a lot easier on account of the fact that the game um, wait, uh, I've already solved the hardest of the, of the Tetris puzzles. My best friend died today. In the abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always specific. Painfully so. And that one specific human being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space 
that human being was my friend. But he's not coming back, no matter how much I want him to. So, all I can do in the end is keep working. Because that specificity, that uniqueness of people, of real people, is worth preserving. Aw, that's sad. The end of the world is really, really sad in this game. I I like these characters. I really do. You know, they're they're weirdly relatable. Because I kind of feel like it's what I would do if I was in their situation. I totally would be the type of person who's like, um, like, when the apocalypse happens, I would totally be the kind of person to, uh, be working until the very, very end, uh, to try and, like, I don't know, come up with, like, any sort of way of, like, saving humanity. Um, I don't know if that sounds egotistical. I mean, that would imply that I would have any hand in it at all. But, like, if I was in a position, I totally would, like, like, be working until the very, very end, the very bitter end to try and, um, try and do what I could. And maybe that makes me kind of crazy. I mean, it sort of reminds me of, uh, David Bowie. Um, so when he died, when, when he was about to die, David Bowie spent basically the last years of his life working on an album, and that's incredibly brave, you know? That, that's, uh, what the hell am I trying to do? I, I, I wish, like, <laughs> like, uh, I know a lot of people sort of poo-pooed it because they were like, oh, it's, uh, it's, um, the people only like this album because it's, uh, he did it because he was about to die or whatever. Um, and, you know, there's, uh, there's something kind of amazing about that to me to just, like, spend your life, like, e even at the very, very end, doing, like, whatever you can just to, like, squeeze out one more drop of meaning from it. And, uh... I totally would do that, and that's kind of why I sympathize with the characters in this game, because they... I don't know. Inspiring, almost, even though they're fictional. But, like, nevertheless, that was grim, but this is getting to be a very, very grim portion of the game, so I'm not entirely surprised that we're getting to this sort of thinking here. Uh, the thing to realize is that I'm probably never going to die, so I really wouldn't worry about it. You guys will be able to watch me until the end of time, which, um, you know... Sorry about that. But we're done with this one. Let's see, anything over here? Oh. There's some more lore. Ascending the tower is useless. We cannot escape the cycle. We can only realize the cycle is meaningless. Earlier generations wrongly believed they were the purpose. This much is true. We are also not the purpose. But by remembering what has come before, we can serve a new purpose. Yeah, so this is the, uh... This is it, the... Um, this is about immortality and giving birth by way of making an immortal automaton because humanity was about to die. And we're, we're the mothers of the, uh, of humanity. Um, let's see. In the earliest generations of our kind, there was only processing. No emotion, no character, just mathematics. If you could see how far we have come, you'd believe that together we could achieve anything actually met David Bowie before a gig. He was amazing. He made me a cup of tea. There's a lot of stories. He made a lot of people tea. <laughs> There's a lot of David St Bowie stories about that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, cool. We'll uh, check out this terminal next time. <laughs>